welcome back to my channel. Today I have a themed haul to show you guys. I have a little magical girl haul. I don't know if you would consider this little, it's probably not that little, but <laughs> if you guys don't know, I am a huge magical girl fan. I grew up watching magical girls. I grew up watching Sailor Moon, of course, and I grew up watching Oja Majo Doremi or Magical Doremi. Uh, and then I also grew up watching Tokyo Mew Mew. So magical girls have a special place in my heart, especially Sailor Moon. Uh, she was the first magical girl uh, I have been exposed to as a child. So um, I do have some I do have quite a few <laughs> uh, Sailor Moon items here. I also have a few non-Magical Girl stuff that I bought that it's like three items and I'll just kind of put it at the end of the video. So we'll get the Magical Girl stuff out of the way first and then you can see the little bonus items that aren't Magical Girl related after. But um, anyway, let's get started. Okay, so, uh, I have three figures from the same series and they are all Nendroids and they are the rest of the uh, Ojamajo Doremi Nendroids. I already have, if you can see up there, I have Doremi and I have Momo. Uh, those are my two favorites. My third favorite is Aiko, right over here, and then we have Hazuki and we have the girl everybody loves, Onpu. So I'm really happy that I finally have the complete set of all the girls. Uh, I can't wait to open them up. Aiko comes with Hana-chan. I kind of wish they made a Nendroid of the grown-up Hana-chan. Uh, I think that would have been super cute because I love that whole arc. I am so glad that I have them. They're so adorable. It's such a nostalgic show for me. And these Nendroids, besides putting their pegs on their backs, these Nendroids are so well made. They're just so well made and they come with quite a few, a good amount of accessories. Um, you know, this was done in the past when Good Smile actually put things in there that was worth the cost of the figure. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, I'm so happy that I have them. <laughs> so moving on, the rest of the stuff I have is from Sailor Moon. So when I started this YouTube channel, I bought a lot of Magical Girl wands. And I think by the last wand I unboxed was the anniversary little Tokyo Mew Mew uh, strawberry bell, which is this one right over here, which I really love so much, it's so cute. And then since then, I don't think I bought any other Magical Girl wand, and I'm going back to my roots, okay? I went back to my roots, and I bought a bunch of Sailor Moon wands, and one of them is my favorite, and I will explain why. So the first wand that I have is not really a wand, it's the Crystal Star Compact which I absolutely love. It's so cute. This isn't the Brilliant Color Edition, but I kind of want the Brilliant Color Edition, but I am happy right now that I have this one. So I don't have batteries in it right now, but that's how it looks opened. I refuse to peel this mirror backing. Um, so yeah. Super adorable. Ah! <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Ah! Uh, I have batteries in like two of these actually, so we'll see. Maybe we'll play. I'm not gonna play all the modes. There's there are videos out there for that. There's like 15 modes on like each wand. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the next wand, or not wand. Well, again, kinda uh, that I have is I think the most recent Sailor Moon wand or Proplica release, and it is the crystal. Or no, no, the Crisis Moon Heart Compact. Something like that, y'all. <laughs> Too many to remember. She like changes every like 20 episodes. Uh, but it is this and it is so cute. I think this is from, she has been the original 
90s version, but I think this specifically is from the Sailor Moon Crystal series, or reboot. But I love it nonetheless. I haven't watched the reboot. Um, I don't know if I should or not. I, I do wonder if it's darker than the 90s version, but uh, this is the inside. I love the colors. I love everything about this. Now, with the Crystal Star Compact, the button was here, but that's not the case for this one. Um, this is the button. I don't know if I have... I don't, I, I don't know if I have... Oh, I do have batteries in this one. Okay, so that's how it sounds when it turns on. Uh, and then you can, of course, open it and it'll make noise as well. Um, I can't really open it because of my nails. But uh, there's a little button here where if you press it, it plays the old theme song. And when I found that out, I like nearly lost it. But let me see if I can do it. There it is. Yeah, so. <laughs> so that was Usagi talking. So there's that one. Uh, and then I have the first wand, sort of, <laughs> that she got. Uh, and it is the moon stick. And I love this wand so much. It is just so simple and just so adorable I love it and then this silver crystal over here comes off and you could put it on the f like flower silver crystal star thing <laughs> uh, over here and you can display it with it these come together tell me that's not the cutest thing uh, I forgot to mention this crystal star compact did not come with a stand but the crisis moon the crisis heart compact y'all <laughs> uh, does it comes with like a little stand and you can display it like that either opened or closed I display it closed just because I like it better not only that but the moon stick does as well and they're pretty cute you guys and they hold on pretty well I haven't had a problem of them like falling off or anything and I think it's so cute okay so now we have the final wand that I have purchased and this one is one that means the most to me and I will explain why it is the most recent one I bought and it is the spiral heart moon rod okay this one's pretty big <laughs> and it is absolutely stunning oh my goodness so you have these buttons here and then you can also there's a hidden button if you swipe that there's like like each light here is a like mode, a different mode. And then this light here is like for volume control. It's a lot, y'all. I do have batteries in here just because I want to show you guys why this one means the most to me. So that's turning it on. All right, let me see if I can get this right. Okay. Okay, and that's just the enemy dying. But that song, that song, y'all, where she, she's using the wand, that song, that sound is just so nostalgic to me. And it means so much to me because I grew up watching Sailor Moon and I had cassette tapes, those old cassette tapes of Sailor Moon. And those ca cassette tapes had her using this specific wand and this is like the wand that i remember that as a child loving and seeing and i re always remember the sound that this makes and every time i hear that sound i just get like a wave of nostalgia hit me and like 
<sighs> when I went back and rewatched Sailor Moon and saw her using that wand and heard it, like I was, I was on like the verge of tears, y'all. Like this, like my inner child is so happy that I have this specific wand. I am, however, looking for the Clyda Moon Scope, the pink one, not the eternal one, because I want the pink one first, and then I'll worry about getting the eternal one. But I, I want the pink one. Um, so if you know anybody that's selling it in for a fair price, y'all hit me up please um but this one comes with a stand also and i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it has the holy grail over here um and yeah and this is like just just little designs it's not like a plain the other ones weren't too they're like little filigree designs on them they're not just plain bases or holders which i do like but she just kind of i will say she's very top heavy um oh oh that scared me okay yeah she kind of just sits like that and i love her so much and i'm so happy that i have her but that is it for and the boxes oh my god for these paprikas are so beautiful y'all look at this i love this foiling going on um so cute and then like even the way they present it in the back is so stunning and i'm not going to open it up but like the instruction manual and how they like have screen caps of her using it on there it's just ah oh, they oh my god it's like perfect perfect um but yeah i am so happy that i have them Uh, so before I end this video, I'm going to show you the items that I bought that weren't Magical Girl related. So I already hung them up. Uh, they are right next to me. So I'm going to move this camera and show you. Okay, so we are back here by my Nitotan plushie display. And I have three new Nitotan plushies. Can you guess which ones they are? Before I point them out, you got five, four, three, two one okay first one i've always had this dazai that i bought at a con a while back but i never got chuya so now dazai has his old partner in crime uh some would argue it is still his partner in crime i am so happy that i have chuya now look at him he's so freaking cute um with his little smirk so <laughs> the moving on the next two are from the same series and they are Oh, right over here. So first up, we have Suzuya Juzo in a season one and I believe two version. Um, there isn't a version for his like reappearance, Tokyo Ghoul reappearance. Uh, if there was, I would love to get that as well. I love both. Uh, and then we have Kaneki in his ghoul form. Now, I think he looks super cool, by the way. He looks awesome. I'm so happy that I have these. These are kind of hard to find. Um, and sometimes when you do find them, they can get pricey, but uh, there are four available plushies of these guys. I have these two. I do want, however, of course, Uta. I think Uta is the hardest to find. And I want little human form um, Kaneki so bad and I can't find him. So if you guys know where I can find him, I've looked everywhere for a good price at least. I saw like Uta going for like a hundred bucks and I'm like, no. But yeah, that those were just the three items that I had bought, so. Just thought I would show it to you here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. My heart is so happy that I have these wands. You guys have no idea. Um, yes, I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>